Hey guys, Jonathan here, Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. Got this uh, great, awesome view out here in Conifer. So naturally, homeowner wants to waterproof this to uh, enjoy the below as well, even though it's covered, but then you can put lights in there, heaters in there, all that kind of stuff, and ensure that no water gets in. So we're putting in the truck train escape. I just want to go over the downspouts. We haven't really done a video on the downspouts and like detailed on it. So I kind of want to go over that. First thing you want to do uh, is find out what size your joists are. The spacing, either 12 or 16 inches on center. Um, this one here is 12 inch, as you can see. Fits in there really nice. But then we have one joist here that's 16, so then it's gonna fit like that. So just make sure you know which side to go. And then what you're gonna do is then, I don't know if you can see the lines on here. Just follow those lines and cut those lines and cut them out. If it's a 12 inch on center, you're gonna come right down this way and cut one, just one side out on that. 16 on center, you're gonna do the same thing, follow on that. Now, on this one, we have a cantilever. So what we're gonna do here, I'll come out here a little bit. So what we're gonna do is our, our trough is gonna sit in here and we're gonna have a little bit of a back, uh, a trough coming down that way. Um, and so the reason why we're doing it here is because our beam and our gutter will be able to sit in there. And so when we put this in, we have to now cut a little bit on this side so that this trough will then drain into here. And what we do is we overlap it over here. And we'll do a video, we'll actually, the next video, I'm gonna add all these videos together to make one video. So we're gonna do a bunch of videos and we'll see it all come together. But uh, so what you're gonna do instead of going all the way down because you don't need to go all the way down because the pitch isn't going to be that uh, deep we'll probably just come like right here about halfway so then on this side it's going to be all the way down and then on this side it's just going to be halfway down and so that we can pitch it this way and pitch it this way always do your long run first and then your cantilever will come and it'll probably end somewhere over here so the water pitches here and then comes back here that's to avoid like multiple things of water coming in and splashing everywhere and so it avoids that and keeps it more of a nice steady stream uh, obviously you gotta glue it staple it and we'll show you guys how to do that here coming up next all right guys so here's greg uh, installing the downspouts we got both sides cut you can see over here is the bigger side and over here is the littler side we got the butyl caulk going here and then he's going to butyl caulk on top of this joist here we got our line snapped to keep everything in line i don't know if you can see that um, line right there and then this here is our line for our 16 on center so when you go 16 on center and 12 inch on center all in the same deck you need to make sure you adjust that for the gutter because the downspouts will not line up they'll be about two inches off and you need your gutter to go straight so greg's got both sides all beautiful nice and neat this one's a hair hair over 12 inch on center so we just got to spread it a little bit but no big deal go through put some staples in make that caulk come out get that nice good seal on there so we got that nice water type and uh and you should be good to go with uh, your downspouts get these in first and then start doing your troughs uh, next video we'll be showing your troughs all right guys here we are on the troughs so you can see pete he's over there putting down the butyl caulk over top of the original or the one that was just laid and then it's going to continue the other side all the way down towards the downspouts and then pete's getting that stuff underneath the flashing so this flashing is already in siding's done in um it's uh very difficult to take that side off to remove the um flashing so what we're doing is caulking underneath the flashing um our butyl caulking uh, underneath the flashing and then a little bit on the our other joist and then butyl caulk on top of the um down or the tr rainscape troughs and then you go and you take that trough and you get it underneath in between the flashing and the ledger it's very important to get that all the way tight get that all the way tight to the house underneath the flashing on top of the ledger 
And Pete's gonna go and get a staple on, on uh, the one side to hold it tight. And he's gonna roll it out to Greg. And then Greg's gonna go ahead and pull it tight. And then Pete's gonna go through and staple down right over where that beetle cock was. And he's gonna come and set another staple on the other joist. Kind of set it with a little bit of a pitch, not all the way completely tight, but pretty darn close. And then Greg got his staple down to hold his end. Pete's gonna come through, finish stapling off that side. And now Greg is cutting that down or that uh, trough pretty much in the middle of the downspout, maybe even a little bit past. And once he gets that cut, he's gonna come and they're gonna get set the pitch. And so now Greg is going to pitch his end and push it down into that downspout. And then Pete's gonna work his side all the way down to keep that pitch nice. So you can see he's pushing it down into that downspout, pulling it nice and tight, making sure we got a nice, good, tight trough. And then Pete's gonna come through and staple it, making sure that pitch is staying the way it needs to stay. And then we're gonna come over and tape the top of those troughs. So where the seams are, um, from trough to trough, we're gonna go through and tape it with butyl tape. And then once we screw our screws in for the decking, it's gonna hold that and it's not going to leak. So uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you guys. And uh, there he goes again, going on top, butyl tape, butyl caulking again. And then Greg's gonna take it down and do the other side and it's gonna happen all over again. So uh, again, hope these videos help you guys. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, also, uh, if, you, if this video helps you, please like and share us, subscribe to us. That definitely helps us. We also got our uh, Instagram, which is uh, Colorado underscore covers underscore decks and our Facebook at covers and decks.